Uh, my name is Gunnery Sergeant Chambers. I am Keystone 7, the operations chief uh, for Keystone and Victor 34. What you saw was some integration of some new IBX concepts, as well as a lot of direct fire and indirect fire to set conditions in order to allow maneuver to close on multiple objectives. Sergeant Connolly, 0311, Victor 34. There's, there, there's been a learning curve, no doubt. Uh, we have experienced, I think, increased lethality in, in, in our sensing capabilities using SIEW, as well as our UAS capabilities. Our ability at the company level to employ uh, larger UAS systems to push them out further, um, that has been probably the biggest technology standpoint. It just gives the commander a lot more essay as we're further away from battalion. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Gerald No. I'm the concept development team leader for the Infantry Battalion Experiment at the Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory. So what we've done with the new formation is we've increased some of the capabilities and pushed those down to the company level. As we pushed normal battalion level assets, our S4, S6, um, and S3 Marines, S2 Marines down to the company level. The idea behind that is these companies should be and may be required to be more distributed than they have in the past. Really, it's going to take time for Marines to work out of a legacy mindset and into a IBX mindset. And that just comes with time, it comes with employment of the capabilities and weapon systems that we have. At the end of the day, the Marine is still a Marine, he's still gonna locate, close with and destroy the enemy. However, utilizing these capabilities to, again, sense earlier, detect the enemy farther out, and then close with them from a farther distance and use more long range assets, I think is the goal of IBX at the end of the day. The formation is also equipped with an organic precision fire capability, as well as a significant increase in the number of radios and computer systems to facilitate multiple redundant command and control nodes. So the requirements for the infantry battalion remain the same. They will always be expected to conduct offensive, defensive, crisis response, and expeditionary operations. The new formation, while it may be smaller, is, is optimized to still conduct those same formats. So through experimentation, we're going to determine exactly which key enablers should reside organically within the formation and which ones should be task organized based off that unit's threat, the mission, and the environment that we expect them to operate in.